Good morning, beautiful friends. It's Paris here from Mount Eliza. I know I don't look so pretty this morning on a Monday morning. It's raining outside. Don't want to get my styled hair wet. I'm just going to cover my, my hair here. How is everyone today? How are my beautiful friends? All right, Gomez. Say good morning to everyone, Gomez. I'm on the outside here. Good morning, Gomez. Good morning. And there's Jerry. Good morning, Jerry. Morning, babies. I'll be there soon for some more breakfast. Won't be long. So how is everyone today? I thought I'd multitask. Say hello. It's Monday the 9th, the 10th of May. Right. Mother's Day was on the 9th yesterday, Sunday. It's um, Sunday night still in um, Europe and parts of America. So I'm just going to multitask while I'm talking to you. Friends, as you can see, Melbourne gets a lot of rain too. It's not just sunshine. So sorry if I'm, if I'm moving around a bit. I'm just untying the ovaries. <sighs> we had a full-on weekend. I don't know where the weekends go. It's just full-on work, work, work. It doesn't stop. I, we did go yesterday to the funeral at Springvale... Uh, not funeral, sorry. Springvale Cemetery to go and um, lay some flowers there to um, Philip's mother, who died in 2009, I think it was. It was a year before... I mean, I, um, Philip and I got together and, um, and then after that we went through to Oakley, I thought, because we've got a wedding coming up, you see, and I thought, well, surely in the Greek precinct of Oakley in Melbourne, I would find something nice for the wedding. I didn't really find anything fan that I fancied. I don't know, I may have to go again or I may have to go and get something else. I don't know, but I'll tell you something, I got home and, and it's from the, um, eyeliner anyway you don't care about this stuff just to let you know in case you see my eyes look really tired and red from the damn bloody eyeliners and smoking anyway friends just want to wish you all a great monday today sorry i do this every morning rain hail or shine right at night good morning babies good morning you okay there they are the babies here i'll turn it around there good morning babies good morning babies how are you today you okay good morning Good morning, Latini and Elvie. Good morning, babies. Yes, you're shaking, shaking. Give us a shake, Latini. Come on, Latini. Beautiful babies. Yeah, that's what happens when breeders play um, Frankenstein gods with uh, birds. They, they mix them with different colorings and whatever. Anyway, that's another topic. Now, friends, a lot happening today. Now, there's a few things that I'm hearing online and it's happening in the media. Good morning, beautiful. Good morning, beautiful. Good morning. It's a few things that are happening now. I've got to tell you something, and I've been discussing these things from last year about Australian laws. Friends, when you're under state of emergency, there are no laws. Nothing. There are no laws for our rights. Sta that's what state of emergency means, that the state takes over. Especially the state. It doesn't refer to the state as in Victoria State or Perth State or Western Australia State or whatever. We're in a state of emergency. So when we're in a state of emergency, we can't say what are our constitutional rights, what are individual rights. They don't apply. Zero, nicht, nein, tipata. They don't apply. Right? And this is why... I don't want to be going backwards and forwards because I haven't scripted what I'm going to say, right? Good morning, babies. So this is why I, say, I said last year that we've got to speak up from a different perspective coming from our common rights it's all bullshit it's a waste of time because friends it's may 2021 have our common law rights helped us in any way have they helped us have they defended us as our common have they been applied to our life no they haven't been applied because in the state of emergency there are no rights and there's a lot of people out there going on and on and fucking on about we have our common law rights and constitutional rights and I'm thinking they are all wasting our time. We have no rights under state of emergency. We are still under a state of emergency. Now, the other thing that a lot of you will know and some of you will need to know is that when there are um, the states in Australia have complete control over the, the states. The federal government only steps in, only steps in if it thinks that it needs to intervene. In the case in Australia, the past year, and not just this year, no, 2020 and onwards, they have never intervened because they are agreeing. So let's say example, right? In Victoria, friends, everyone, we have the state Labor government that's in charge. 
and federally in charge of Australia is the Liberal government. So in America, let's say, right, so the state is socialist and the, and the uh, federal is, 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 um, is Republican. Good morning, Indy. Now, when the state governments do something, if the federal government disagrees, they'll step in, they'll override. Okay, they'll override. But if they agree, they're not going to override. So when there was the border closures in Victoria and all the businesses shutting down and all that, the federal government did not disagree. You know why? I keep saying it to you guys, but you're not listening. Not all of you, but most of you, you're not listening because I used to get thousands of views and suddenly now it's just few. And that's okay. I don't care about the views. I've said from the start, I just want one person to, to educate, but I've got a lot more than one person and I'm very grateful for that. Because the Liberal Labour, Animal Justice Party, Greens, the Independents, the Fiona Patterns, the Ricardo Bosses and everyone, they're all on the same side, friends. They're all on the same. Good morning, Clippy. They're all on the same side. They are not going to disagree because they are all the same. Do you understand that? And this is why life hasn't changed. Now, the other thing that I often think about, right? A lot of you out there have had a lot of hardships in life throughout your whole life. You're not on Facebook because you can't stand us because you're thinking we don't fucking know shit. And you're pretty much right. Let me tell you something, friends. I have been to courts many times for personal matters, right? For tenant matters because I've rented, for other workplace matters and all that. And though I hired lawyers, I sacked them and I represented myself. I always wanted to be a lawyer since I was either a lawyer or a fashion designer and I ended up going in fashion instead. So what happens is, sorry friends about the moving around, but I've got to multitask. So what happens is, good morning, good morning there, Santi, you okay? So, I'm coming, Agapi. Can you hear me talking Greek? She talks Greek. She goes, Ella Agapi, which means come here, my love. Kalimera, Agapi, Kalimera. Now, I represented myself. I did all the research. I searched all the, the statutes, the, the laws, everything that was related to my case. For instance, in 2006, after a horrendous um, workplace bullying incident, I represented myself against the um, state government department that I was working on, won the case. Right? I had also, you know what happened? The state government bitch from HR, she turns up not even with a pen and paper. Nothing. I had all my folders there. I had no help from no one. My ex-husband, who's lovely, he didn't, um, rep he didn't know how to help me at all in the matter. I did all the research myself, right, because they were trying to screw me in state government. I didn't go back, of course, but um, I won the case there, right? That was a, a VCAT type mediation type case. It was very important and I won that case, though I did suffer the health as a result of all that, right? So you don't always win, but legally. Then I represented myself in 2010 and uh, 11 and 12 in VCAT cases as a tenant. I was for two separate for two years. I was renting in two different premises, and I took um, Century 21 to court, and I took who are absolute assholes, absolute assholes, right to the top, and I took um, the Sandhurst in Melbourne. If you know Sandhurst, they've got their own um, real estate offices where they rent out properties there in the Sandhurst area there near um, Carrum Downs. So good morning, good morning babies. That is just a few of examples. I can tell you a lot more. I can tell you a lot more that weren't even related to me and others that I represented and helped. And I, and I, and I win cases because I do a lot of research. I couldn't find lawyers that could help me. Even like with my government case, I went to um, Morris Blackburn and all them. They didn't give a shit to help me, right? Because I thought, because I was so ill from the stress, I needed some help. What I'm trying to say is I'm not new to law. That's the only reason I'm telling you this shit. And I've got a lot more experience. I just, I've got to, when I don't plan things, I don't write things down. I can't remember to tell you guys everything. Good morning, babies. Good morning. It's a bit cold. It's a bit windy. Good morning. Here's beautiful here. I'll try and use my glove here. Good morning, beautiful. Good morning. Good morning, beautiful. I love you. Oh, beautiful. Good morning, Indy. Love you, Agape Good morning. Now, friends with court cases and hearings and rights and things good morning coffee good morning it depends who you get as the judge and it depends how much homework you've done and the precedence you've chosen so please when you hear people saying that we have constitutional rights and common law rights and all that these do not apply today and this is why i got attracted to dr shiva in america this indian entrepreneur scientist um, inventor of email etc because 
what he says that is different from the rest of these all these online groups and individuals that are online that I've not been able to resonate with he says that we need to start a bottom-up movement because at the moment the unions and the groups are, are, are running everything and not doing anything for people if you're a member of the union what is your union doing for you tell me what is your union doing for you what are they really doing they're not doing anything they're not doing anything it's all rah 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 emails i get the emails from the unions every day i get the emails and i see what this person i'm not going to say that what she is the one in charge i've forgotten her name now what she's saying about the union members right and, and the emails sent out good morning there henry good morning good morning babies i won't be long now there are no legal rights we have no legal rights in the world anymore no one not just in Australia, look at what's happening in Greece. I speak to my friend regularly who tells me what's going on. It is worse than what it was during World War II. I'm not going to say the name because Facebook doesn't like me saying his name. Right? It is worse than what it was. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Murray, are you okay? I can hear can you hear him. Good morning, Murray. We have no rights. And this is why I said again, we need to do take action from the bottom up. Not from politics will get us nowhere. Online groups, protests, uh, no protests will get us, but we've got to do it ourselves because the protests at the moment are all run from political parties, right? They're all back from political parties. They're not done from the average worker, the average person. And this is why, friends, I'm just, I'm just having a chat, right? Don't get all your feathers in a flutter. Just having a chat. It's all right, Murray. You want to say hello to everyone? Good morning, babies. Good morning. It's just one moment. And this is what attracted me to Shiva. It's not going through political means or whatever, which is getting us nowhere. We have to create groups the way they did in the 1800s. Sorry, friends, I'm just trying to do something here. Where the people did it themselves, not unions, not other bullshit and whatever. Where the groups did it, where the people did it themselves. Where we get out in the street and we say, fuck this, we're not going to take it anymore. Because at the moment, the groups who are organising all these protests for the past year, what has been achieved, friends? Can you ask me what's been achieved? Can you answer me what's been achieved? I can't read the messages because the stupid phone is rotated again. What has been achieved the past year? You may say, well, we're out of lockdown. This is what they do. Some of them let us free so we can make the businesses earn money because the businesses have got the strongest voting power, right? And the influence, the big businesses, the medium sized and big businesses. Good morning, Cynthia, good morning. Look, look how Cynthia's looking at me. Look, look, the children understand what I'm talking about more than people. Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning. I can see you there. You're making a big hole, aren't you? Right? And then what happens? When do they put us back in lockdown? But in Australia, we're going to have federal elections. They can be very careful. And this is why Daniel Andrews has gone out of the picture. Because he knows that a lot of us were getting pissy with him. Right? Really, really pissy with him. Whether we were Liberal or Labor. Even Labor people were getting pissy. So he's just gone into a long little isolation break. That's all he's done. Isolation break. And, and I don't think he's at home all day. Right? Just in a little break. Because this is what they do. This is part of strategy. This is psychology. I keep telling you guys. They do these things to keep people quiet. Just like the political parties. Now, a lot of you don't listen to the media. Well, it's your loss. I can't believe if you're interested in politics, life, and freedom, truth, freedom, and health, and the rest of it, and then you don't listen to the media. I, I don't. People who say don't listen to the media, they are the frauds. Because the media is telling you everything that's going on. Truth or not, it doesn't matter. When it says that, you know, you've got to do this, we've got to do that, that's happening here, that's happening there. It's actually happening. It is really happening. Now, the reasons why it's happening, like in India, the reasons they're giving us are false. But it's really happening in India. So then, when we see things in the media of things happening, we've got to say, why is that happening? What's going on? Is that real or not? Anyway, Dr. Shiva talks about a lot of things, especially India, because he's, he's got an Indian background, right? And um, I was going to sit down for a second, but I think the chair's going to whip my ass. So I'm just going to sit down just for one moment. No, it is. It's wet. I can't sit down. So listen to what they say in Australia on your local TV stations. In Melbourne, I listen to 3AW. And I'm always nodding my head saying, you effing idiots. But these things are happening. And also listen, people that are dying, people that are killing each other, people who have accidents, um, what's happening in the hospital system, what's happening in the education system. These things are all happening. And talking about education system, I've got to send a message to my dear friend uh, Nana in Greece. 
right? She was telling me how the kids, when they go to school in Greece, they start on Monday after they reach the Greek Easter break. They, the parents have to twice a week swab. They have to go and get from the pharmacists a swab test for the nose, free. Of course it's free, though the government's paying your big pharmaceuticals for these tests because they know people wouldn't pay for it. That's what they do. And when you get something free, friends, always know that there's a catch. When you get something free, it doesn't matter, there's always a catch. Even these videos that I and others do, what's the catch? What's my catch? I've told you what my catch is. I'm trying to let you guys know what's going on. I'm not asking for money for these videos, am I? Right? How many hundreds of thousands of dollars has uh, that Jewish uh, Avi guy raised? Go and check it out, because if I tell you, you won't believe me. Right? And it's not 100, 200, 300, it's a lot more than that. Because a lot of you naive and silly people have gone off giving this dickhead money. And the rest of them too. Um, so in Greece, the parents have to twice a week do a nose swab test to the kids. And they have to get a certificate that it's clear. It's like a pregnancy test type thing. Right? Before the kids can go to school. Now they're going to do similar shit here. But they must have figured out that the Greeks in Greece are more drugged and drunk and stupid than the Aussies. I used to say the Aussies are very complacent. But, um... We're speaking back a bit more than the Greeks. This is the problem, is that when you have it too easy, Greeks, Italians, Spanish, all those Mediterranean countries that are beautiful and sunny. Good morning. Good morning, uh, friends. you got to meet my friend. you got to meet my friend. Hello, little miner. This is my little miner friend. Hello, little miner. Comes around every day looking for where I'm putting scraps. Hello, little miner. Where are you? As long as you don't get too close to the parrots. We don't want you know, any infection control or any... Um, we don't want you attacking the birds. Look, this is my little friend here, little miner. Comes around every day. Hello, little miner. He knows that I rescued one of his friends the other day. They passed, but where are you, little miner? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't he beautiful? Hello. <laughs> they come around. So this is why we haven't been in worse lockdowns this year in Australia, because we've got the federal elections coming up this year. That's the only reason. Please, friends, we have no rights. We have no rights. If we go to courts and do things like that, and if we win cases, it's because we're lucky that we found a good judge. Right? Otherwise, we have no rights. State of an emergency, have no rights. We've got to work like Dr. Shiva says. Not because he says it, but I agree, because it makes sense strategically. It makes sense politically. It makes sense humanistically. We've got to start fighting from bottoms up, meaning that the bottom, the ground people, us, you and me and us, we've got to start speaking back, right? Because the groups are not doing it for us in Australia. And I'm not smiling because I'm being sarcastic or funny, right? It's just the birds are looking at me and I don't want them to see that I'm stressed. We have to start speaking for ourselves. The groups aren't doing anything. They don't know. They think we have rights. We don't have rights, friends. We don't have rights. I've been saying it for over a year. And this is why this shit is happening. And while we're not in lockdown, and what's happening in the other states, they're playing ball with them. Soccer ball, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards to drive people crazy. Because that's what he does. Drives you crazy. Right? I'm hearing about masks. I'm hearing about this and that and whatever. Anyway, I know there's a lot more I wanted to say. I can't remember now because I've got to get to the birds here. Good morning, Chicky. Good morning. So, friends, all I can suggest is that you eat well, you drink well. You look after your health because we will need our health when we're fighting from bottoms up amongst all this evil. And there's evil in every suburb, in every street, in every house. In every household we have people who are evil, right? We know that. Relatives, family members and whatever, we're not all the same. And this is not karma. This is not Earth's karma. This is not the, the universe karma. This is not God's karma. This has got nothing to do with karma. This is reality. Friends, look at reality. Meditation won't get you out of this. Crystals won't get you out of this. Any other esoteric metaphysical shit won't get you out of this. The reality is what we are living today. You can meditate all you want. It's not going to get us out of anything. It's not going to... Meditation won't get us out of everything. You can add to what you're doing. So help good people. Help environment. The nature. Help animals. Help birds. We've got to help one another because this is how we raise the vibrations. So even if you don't meditate, this is how we do it. What's the point of you sitting cross-legged meditating to get to know yourself and all that blah, 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 if you can't apply that to other people and to your world, right? Just like a lot of people that go to India for those bullshit gurus who live in the caves 
And I've been saying for over 15 years, I'm thinking, how is that helping my psyche? Me living in a cave isolated, I've got no one to fight with. I need someone to teach me how to fight with people. Not fight as in fight, but how to um, have be assertive, how to find problems in life. This is the life we're living. Health problems, disabilities, arguments, relationship issues, domestic abuse um, and violence, um, the nature being destroyed, animals being destroyed, governments controlling us, corporations controlling us. Our own families are lying to us. Of course the government's going to lie to us. Our own families are lying to us, right? Our own families are lying to us, let alone the governments. About family shit and that. So meditation is good if you can, whatever you learn, you can apply to the environment around you. It's no point just doing it for ourselves. I told you, I haven't sat down and done meditation for many years. I don't have to, I do it while I'm doing my cleaning. I do it while I'm doing my vacuuming. I've got so much cleaning and work to do, it's not funny. Mondays for me, I have to do one month's work in one day, right? Anyway, so just wanted to say good morning there, Nico. Nico, you're having some bark. There's Nico down here. Hey, Nico. Hi Nico. Good morning Nico. Good morning. I know you're gonna attack me now. You're gonna jump. Good morning Nico. Good morning. They're making so big holes, friends. Look at the holes they're making. It's unbelievable. So they keep getting out. Anyway. Anyway, friends, let me just turn this around for a second. Now, the other thing quickly just about birds. Remember that case of Annie, the Indian ringneck that got stolen, taken away from um, this Josh guy in I think it's Queensland. He's still pursuing the matter legally to try and fight them because they won't let them know where the bird is. So the governments can do whatever they want. If you think they can take kids away, they do the same to animals. Right? They can do the same to anyone. They don't care. You've got to take the matters publicly, petitions, and legally. Right? This is what I've been involved in for years behind the scenes. The other thing is there's big sales in Melbourne. There may, there's a Mornington Peninsula sale on at Sky this month. I think it's still there. Um, there's bird breeders selling and breeding birds every single day, online, every day. Look at Gumtree, what's happening. We've got to stop this. This is unbelievable. I keep telling you that birds have the same psychology, physiology and brain as people and even more intuitive and more intelligent. A lot of you believe that, a lot of you don't believe it. Live with them 24-7 for one day and you'll see how much smarter and intelligent and intuitive they are than your own kids, than our own husbands and wives, than our own family members. Good morning, is that Henry? Is that Henry? Hello Henry, I know. I'm yapping too much this morning. Good morning Henry, good morning, good morning, good morning. All right friends, so if you can help me with the petitions, just to sh spread awareness. That's what it is, because the governments don't give a shit. And also the other thing that many times I think of is, you know, a lot of you the past year have been huffing and puffing about what's going on with the VAXs and with um, health and lockdowns and stuff. Friends, those of you who have been doing that, it's because you haven't had these experiences before in life. This abuse of government and law power has been happening forever. There's nothing new what happened last year with the lockdowns and all that. Do you know how many people are, are isolated? Do you know friends that people that have no family and friends and no work and have got health issues, they become, um, owned by the state, not just children, they're owned by the governments, put in public housing and they lobotomize them and they abuse them, they do whatever they want and experiments on them. Did you know that? Did you want to be in that situation? Do you know how many thousands and thousands of people are like that in Australia? And I think it's in New Zealand too. So this is a new this stuff that's happening in life. It's just that a lot of you now have learned about this stuff because before you were living your life differently. But all this stuff that's going on in life, I've been living it. This has been going on forever. This is nothing new. This is nothing new. The only difference is it's happened to everyone. Well, almost everyone, because a lot of people were still working. I'm coming, Mari, he's screaming, you see. And a lot of people were still earning money, building their businesses and the rest of it. Anyway, so this is not new. This taking away our freedom, taking away our rights. It's been happening forever and ever. It's just that a lot of you now have learned about this. Okay, and that's what some of you say, Paris, aren't you scared? Don't you panic? No, because I've been through this shit and I've been through worse and on my own. No family, no friends, no one to support me. 
I've been doing it all on my own. So if I could get through it with horrendous health issues and I'm still standing and I'm still surviving, there's no excuse for the rest of you who've got family and support around you who can help you. Sorry, my the allergies from the um, eyeliner. I'm not wearing it now. It's just, it's, it affects me for a whole week. Anyway, friends, like I say, I'm always here for you guys. You've got to have strength. Stop listening to all these negative videos online because these are from people who are very negative, very fearful, who are saturated with negative energies. We don't need that shit. You survive today, you live today, you survive today, you work, you do whatever you can to get on with life. If you need any help or advice, ask me, I'll give you suggestions. If I don't know something, I'll put you onto someone else. I don't know everything, but I know a lot of things. I've been through a lot of shit. Don't look at me like this looking pretty in my bogan way. <laughs> Just trying to make you laugh, friends, trying to make you laugh. Well, you want to see me in my gowns like I used to wear all the time and in my suits. That's how I used to wear. I was a suit girl. Suit girl. Most of my life, fashion girl, suit girl. Crawfords from top to bottom. I ain't like that anymore, friends. I've got parents to look after. Can't do my manicures every day. But my mind is a lot more sharper, is a lot more clearer. I'm a lot more confident with myself. I believe in myself. I stand for myself. I don't let anyone tell me otherwise. And if I do something wrong, I'll apologize. Okay? Oh, that rhymed. I didn't even plan that. Apologize, criticize, otherwise. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. You can see St. Francis in the background there. I have great faith in St. Francis. I talk to him every day for our parrots. And yes, I've got some, I'll turn it around here so you can see here the, um, I've got some selenite here, right? Just to look pretty for the birds. And this is the, um, what do you call these pyramids? They're meant to help with EMF so they don't do shit. Cause I've put the EMF read and they don't work. But we all get sucked in in our lives. And the St. Francis holding some rose quartz. Isn't he beautiful? Isn't he beautiful? Sorry about the mess there, friends. This is all my washing I've got to do. All right, everyone. I'll let you guys all go. Thanks for listening. I just was meant just for one minute. I've got to get back to work. You get back to work. Get back to survival. Get back to looking after your health. Check out Dr. Shiva's videos. Just check them out. It's free. The page is public. It's not private. Just check them out. If you don't like them, you don't like them. It's okay. But they inspire me. Twice a week I listen to. My only inspiration is Dr. Shiva a medical medium they're the only inspiration for me you might have other inspirations and you're so lucky but for me these are my inspirations so if you're wondering paris where do you get your strength from inspiration i've joined a great group of like-minded people from all over the world we're open to everyone just listen he talks about history um, u.s history world history which is also applicable to australian history and he sits into the aussie group somewhere he listens any questions because he says it he says it and he does lives every day so on my main profile page when he's talking every day i'll do the um i'll share his lives so you can just listen you can listen anytime you don't have to join you don't have to join his group if you don't want i've joined as a warrior i've paid around 100 bucks you can give more donation if you want you can, it's just that I, I want to support and thank him for what he's doing and that's not enough it's ridiculous hundred dollars seriously i mean this guy lectured to all the universities this guy was uh, the strategic guy and the rest of it for the biggest multinational corporations and politicians seriously he's doing the best he can Let's just listen to what he says you know you know anyway i love you all sending you love hope you had a fabulous mother's day yesterday whether you have children or not doesn't matter right a lot of us have the maternal in us whether we've got kids or not even animal children and bird children love you all have a great day and it is quite um you can see i'll show you the sky it is quite gray in melbourne today but we can't have it all can we friends it is quite gray remember the tree that we trimmed down there where well, there's a lot of birds that sit up there which is great so it's quite gray up there it's quite gray but that's okay friends don't worry how the weather is you make your life the way you want it to be without harming yourself without harming others nature animals you make your life the way you want it to be okay love you all everyone sending you feathered kisses bye everyone bye